What's up YouTube, it's Jackal Gold Kick. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about some stuff that I wanna get off my chest. Um, yeah, if, if this doesn't get resolved with these two individuals, or at least one of them, um, through putting this video out, that's fine. But I at least wanna get it out there and talk about it in a video because it's gonna bother me if I bottle this stuff in, this conflict, and I don't talk about it or address it, and I want to talk about it. So I'm gonna be talking about two things in this video. And it's pretty much kind of a story time, I guess. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is pretty much like an apology to Dennis, mostly, the rapper Dennis. I'm, I'm also going to talk about how me and him had issues because we had beef, we had problems. I kind of chopped it up with him on Instagram just a little bit, and uh, so we're kind of cool, but I still want to talk about this in the video. And then the second thing I'm going to talk about in this video is my problem and beef with Dispensary 7, who is an associate of Dennis, and he's someone who is a, he's a rapper as well. So first, let's talk about the Dennis thing. Now, Dennis was someone I was a fan of for years as a rapper. He's most known for the Eminem stuff. People, you know, say he's like Eminem, this and that, and then the clickbait Eminem tracks. Um, I was a fan of Dennis for a while, um, but what led to our beef and us having issues, basically, is at the time, you know, when I was young, I kind of had this mindset that, you know, because because we support entertainers and we're fans of them, they owe us in the sense that they should, you know, talk to us and do this and that with us. I, ha I had kind of a bad mindset, you know, where I had this like a kind of entitlement thing, you know. At the end of the day, you know, entertainers appreciate their fans. They chat with them when they can, but they got their own life just like we have our own life. There shouldn't be this entitlement that they owe us this and owe us that just because we support their music and stuff. It, it was a bad mindset, and I admit it, and I fully take fault of it. Most of the problems I have with Dennis, I take fault with. But there are other things that I think take fault with Dennis, but it's more so connected to Dispensary 7, which I'll get to that soon. Um, but how did, our, how did my problems with Dennis basically start? Well, how it happened was I had an issue with Dennis not talking to fans a lot, and he had, he had an Xbox account. Now, it's gonna be hard to remember all this because it happened years ago, so maybe some of the stuff I'll get wrong, but I remember like friending Dennis on Xbox Live and then I got like deleted off his friends list. I don't know if that happened, but I'm trying to remember all this, but so that was one thing, but what really started our issues and what really started the beat between me and Dennis was I contacted him on Facebook because I, I, I contacted him on Facebook and I basically had an issue and said, man, I don't like the fact that you're not interacting or talking to fans, and I don't like the fact that you don't uh, play with fans on Xbox Live, because he has an Xbox Live account. That, those were my two things. That's what I said to him online, is I don't like the fact that you don't talk to your fans, and I don't like the fact that you don't play Xbox Live with your fans. Those were my issues. They were stupid issues, because he does talk to fans. He just can't talk to everybody, because he has a lot of fans, and he has his own life. You know, and He doesn't have to play Xbox with his fans, you know, there's, there's no owing there. That was just a stupid, you know, entitled mindset I had, you know. Looking back, it was very stupid. Stupid reason to cause issues. It was stupid. It, it was stupid. It really was. And I, I admit to that fault. And I admit to that problem. But that's what I had spoken to him about. He got annoyed with me and said something like I'm annoying or something. And then he blocked me, you know. Rightfully so, because those were stupid reasons for me to start issues with him. Now... You know, most of the time, Dennis wasn't involved on his part in terms of the beef with me. I was more involved with it, you know. So I, like, what I mean is he wasn't commenting on my videos like that and having a lot of interactions with me. So we did have issues, but I was more involved in it than maybe Dennis was, if that makes sense. But, yeah, that's that's how our beef started. That's how our problem started. Basically, you know, I said I don't like the fact that you don't talk to your fans and play with your fans on Xbox Live. I have an issue with that. I think I even mentioned something else I had an issue with. I can't quite remember. You know, it's hard to remember all this because it's from years ago. This happened, by the way, this time frame. I would say, I, I can't remember when this happened. This happened probably when I was like a kid, a teenager. So maybe 2015, 2014. I just can't quite remember. But it was kind of a long time ago. And then, you know, after I said that to Dennis, he said, you're annoying and had a question mark or something like that. And then he blocked me on Facebook. And that's what caused our issues. After that, I kind of talked shit about him here and there. I would make videos that I no longer have up. I made a diss track called Four Bitches about him and some others. That diss track is gone. Um, you know, and it's like, it was kind of like a back and forth thing where I'll talk shit to him. Maybe he was involved somewhat, but he wasn't really as involved in the beef as I was. Um, there, was cert there were certain videos I made about him. Certain interactions I had with him on Facebook, 
I would try to squash the beef or squash the issues, but I couldn't really get a hold of them. I did get a hold of them recently on Instagram, like I said. We chop it up a little bit, and the problems are mostly mostly squash, but it's not really resolved. It hasn't really been, the problems haven't really been resolved like that, you know. But yeah, that's how my beef with Dennis went. That's what our problem was. I contacted him and said, I don't like the fact that you're not talking to fans, you're not playing with fans on Xbox Live. And then he got annoyed with me and said I was annoyed and he blocked me. And that caused the whole problem between me and him. That's what caused the issues. Um, so that explains that part. And like I said, I apologize for it. You know, Dennis, I apologize for that shit. You know, I apologize for that stuff. I'm very sorry about it. It was stupid. It was completely my fault. You know, that was a stupid mindset I had. It was a dumb thing to get mad about and a dumb thing to talk shit to you about and just cause problems with, you know, because it was just a stupid entitled mindset to have, a toxic mindset to have, you know. We can be fans of entertainers, but, you know, they're, they're, people, they're people themselves just like we are. They have their own life. You know, they're not entitled. Just because we support them or we're fans of them, that doesn't mean... We, we shouldn't act like, you know, they're entitled to do this or that with us because we're fans and because we're supporters of them. That's just toxic. And that was toxic thinking of mine. I no longer try to have it. That's something I had in the past. I fully admit to it and own up to it. So that addresses the dentist side of things. Now I'm going to talk about the second thing. I want to talk about my beef and my problem with Dispensary 7. So Dispensary 7 is someone that I would say with the dentist beef, it was more so my fault. But... With the dispensary beef, it was more so his fault, not mine, okay? So let me explain how the dispensary 7 shit happened and how I still pretty much have beef with dispensary 7 and my problem with dispensary 7 and why I do not like this guy and why it is personal. So here's how it started. I'm not going to name names because I don't want to put this individual's name out there, but there's someone that is cool with me online that... He, he interacted, he tried, you know, he was a fan of Dennis, and he tried to interact with, uh, or no, he had, he had some interactions with Spencer. You know, this is when, like, Dennis and Spencer were, you know, doing stuff together, and when they started to do things together. That's when this was, and I uh, can't remember the year. And, you know, there was, there was little things he would tell me that Dispensary 7 was doing that were, were rude. You know, there was things Dispensary 7 was doing that were rude. And I didn't like them. And the things he told me, I'm going to try to remember all of it, is um, one time um, this person, like I said, I'm not going to name names, this person was, you know, wanting to try to become friends with Dennis on Facebook because he was a huge fan of him, right? So to try to make that happen, he contacted Spencer, since Spencer knows uh, Dennis, and that would be the way to, you know, let Dennis know. And that's what he wanted. And Spencer said, all right, he would do it. Spencer, he said, he said that he would you know, talk to Dennis and have him friend this uh, person. And then after that happened, you know, he hit Dispensary 7 up about it, said, you know, glad you did it and stuff like that. And I think Dispensary 7 said something to uh, this person. He said something like, uh, he said something like, you know, be a, be grateful or something like that. Like, kind of in a rude way, be grateful. Like, he was annoyed that he had to go do this. And, you know, just annoyed with it, said be grateful or something like that. Just a rude interaction. So that was one thing. Another thing was basically, there was like some profile picture that this person I know that I'm cool with, he's honestly one of my friends. Even though I only know him online, one of my best friends, honestly. I've known him for a long time. He's a really cool person. But this guy, he had a profile picture. And Dispensary 7 basically said that you look kind of gay in the profile picture. You know, it's just like those two interactions... You know, it was more of a Dispensary 7 problem. He was just not being the best person. You know, he was being a mean person. He was being a rude person to this guy. And it just wasn't right. It wasn't right whatsoever. So those are the two things that happened. You know, he got kind of annoyed with him after getting Dennis a friend of on Facebook. And he said something about him looking kind of gay or something from a profile picture, which is just rude. You know, Dispensary 7 was wrong for both of those things. They didn't really take responsibility for it or try to make up for it, you know. And that's what annoyed my friend. And that's what transpired to me and Dispensary 7 having beef. Because after I heard about those two things that my friend told me of his interactions with Dispensary 7, I was already talking to Dispensary 7. We had some, you know, back and forth talking. Didn't really have any issues with him. But like I said, this is more of a Dispensary 7 problem. How And then how it transpired from there was... 
he told me about these interactions he had from Spencer. So I, I had an issue with that. I had an issue with the way Dispensary 7 was acting towards him. That pissed me off because I was, I was really good friends with this guy, you know, and I had a lot of love for him. He's a cool person. I enjoy talking to him. You know, he's a cool friend, you know, and I don't like it when other people mess with the people I care about. I don't like that shit. So he told me about this stuff at Dispensary 7, and I decided to contact I decided to contact Dispensary 7 about it and basically tell him I have an issue with this. You know, why are you being rude to my friend? It's not right what you're doing. And that caused issues with me at Dispensary 7. I can't remember exactly what he said. It's been so long. I think he said something like stay out of the, stay out of this business or shut up or something like that. And then he blocked me. He had an issue with me taking it up with him with how he was being towards my friend, you know. And so, yeah, I, I hit up Dispensary 7 about it because I did not like how he was acting towards my friend. That was bullshit. There was no reason he should have acted like that. So I hit up Dispensary 7 about it. I had a problem with it, you know. And he had an issue with me hitting him up. And he said something like, shut up or stay out of, you know, you know, this isn't your business, none of your business. Shut up. Something like that. I can't quite remember. And he blocked me. And after that, that started the problems with me and Dispensary 7. And even me and my friend would talk about, you know, Dispensary 7... In terms of a person, he just doesn't seem like a nice guy, all right? And I'm going to show you, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a screenshot. The comment's no longer up, but I screenshotted it. I'm going to show you a screenshot of an interaction that Dispensary 7 had with um, a fan, and he just wasn't nice towards him. And this will be kind of a way I could show you proof of how Dispensary 7 is as a person. I'm also going to show you a screenshot the Dispensary 7 kind of saying something about Dennis a few years ago, which is weird because they're associates and they're cool with each other. And I, that's why I want to bring the screenshot to light. Just in case Dennis watches this, you know, Dennis, I know you have your own relationship with Spencer. You know, you and him are cool. But I at least hope you can watch this video and understand my side of all of this and get where I'm coming from. I would like to get on a live call or some kind of interaction with you and Spencer and settle all these differences and move on from it, I'd love to do that. If it doesn't happen, fine, but I'm just going to, you know, request it. Um, but yeah, that's that's my whole problem with Dispensary 7. That's how I had beef with Dispensary 7. And it got worse from that point, um, and it just became personal. And basically what happened was I started to get accused of things, and Dennis was starting to accuse me of things because of my problem with Dispensary 7. I started to get accused of a lot of things, and... You know, this is this is where I said Dennis has some fault in his end. I was accused one time of uploading Dennis's tracks from his one of his mixtapes. He see he he accused me of doing it or something like that, but I told him I didn't do it. The only Dennis tracks I upload were the ones that were taken off YouTube. I never uploaded anything from his albums or his like mixtape. But he thought I did it or he accused me of it. That's one thing. And I have a feeling that stemmed from the Dispensary 7 beef. Probably putting stuff in his head, I don't know. And then the, the, the other thing I was accused of that really pisses me off because it became personal and it's why I don't think I could be cool with Dispensary 7 again since he took it way too far. Um, I was accused of reporting Dispensary 7 SoundCloud. He had a SoundCloud with music and it was constantly getting, you know, reported. Um, and how I know this was my name was in the description of his SoundCloud and something else happened. So that's how I know it was reported. I had nothing to do with it. And I'm going to tell you right now, okay? I had nothing to do with Dispensary 7's SoundCloud getting reported. It was reported multiple times. He was getting his stuff taken down. It was making him mad, you know? And he thought I did it. He thought I was the one who did it. And he accused me of it. He put my name in the SoundCloud description. And another thing that he did that I will never forgive, and this is bullshit because Dispensary 7, this made it personal. This took things way too fucking far, and it's something that I do not respect. He contacted my mother on Facebook because of this problem. You know, saying I was bullying him and messing with him and this and that, mentioning the SoundCloud reporting thing and mentioning Mike involving police, some shit like that. Can't quite remember. I can find the screenshots of this stuff. I'll show it. But I, I, I'm not promising anything. So yeah, that's how the, tra the that's how the stuff transpired with Spencer. First, it started with him being mean to my friend, so I hit him up about having an issue with it. Then he blocked me. Then it went from Dennis accusing me of uploading tracks from a mixtape, and then it also went to this now, where his SoundCloud was being reported multiple times. I was accused of doing it, you know, and I, I had nothing to do with it. I did nothing to his SoundCloud. Let me ask you something, Dispensary Seven. 
if I did report your SoundCloud, wouldn't I have reported your YouTube channel or your videos as well? Think about it. I would never do anything like that. I've never reported somebody's stuff. And that is the honest truth. I've admitted to things on my channel. All right, things I've admitted to. So if I've admitted to things on my channel, I wouldn't be lying about this. I did not report your SoundCloud. I don't know who reported your SoundCloud. I have no idea who reported your SoundCloud, but I didn't have anything to do with it. You know, so you can't just assume I did it and put the blame on me just because we had issues. That's bullshit. And like I said, the main issue I have with you, Dispensary 7, and my problem with you is you took it too far. You made it, you made it about family, you know? You took our problem, our beef, which was your fault because of how you were towards my friend and you contacted my mother and you involved her you know and, and that's where but that's where the line was crossed that's where at this point I'll, i'm enemies with dispensary seven like i might be able to get on a call with dennis and spencer or whatever and try to sort the differences out and i might be able to be cool with dennis but there's no way i'm ever going to be able to be cool with dispensary seven because he took it past that line he contacted my family you know he contacted my mom and involved her about this whole issue we had in reporting a SoundCloud, this and that, even though I didn't report a SoundCloud, that's what he said I did, you know? He had no proof of it, but he accused me of doing it. So, you know, he crossed that line. He contacted my mom, which just isn't cool. You know, you completely crossed the line. You didn't have to involve her. It was an issue between me and you. And to me, when you're having an issue with someone, the moment you involve family, you cross a line that cannot be brought back to you. you you've made it personal and dispensary seven it's personal between me and you i don't fucking like you and that's plain and fucking simple i do not like you not only for how you were towards my friend but the fact that you involved my mother in this shit and the fact that you fucking accuse me of reporting your soundcloud i don't fucking like you you know and i'll say it just like that that's why i want to get this shit off my chest because it's always bothered me about this conflict and everything in general with this situation you know, so that's pretty much the extent of my problem with Dispensary 7. There were a few other things I was accused of from Dennis, which is partially on Spencer's part because I had issues with Spencer and they're cool with each other. But some other things I was accused of from Dennis. Uh, Dennis accused me as well of harassing Spencer. Like he, he con Dennis contacted me one time and said, you know, leave Spencer alone. Stop going after him and stop messing with him. You left a call or said something to him. In general, I was accused of doing things to Spencer. And I told Dennis, I didn't do anything to Spencer. I don't fuck with this guy. I don't like him, right? I, di I didn't do anything to him. And it, and it makes me mad that Dennis would do that and accuse me of that when this motherfucker, the Spencer 7 contacted my mom and he's the one at fault. And yet I'm getting the accusations here. I'm being accused of stuff. It, it, it wasn't right. It was not right whatsoever. This is why I want to resolve this conflict. Get on some call and talk to Dennis and Spencer about this, you know? Granted, some of it's my fault with the dentist stuff, but with Dispensary 7, it's 100% his fault. 100%. 100%. But yeah, Dennis was accusing me of other things. He was accusing me of harassing Spencer, doing things to him. Um, and, you know, he accused me of reporting his SoundCloud. And he said, you know, I tried to tell him it wasn't me, but he said, we, we tracked your IP address down or something like that, and it was reported to you. And it's like, did you really? Because I had nothing to do with having your SoundCloud, and yet... Or having a Spencer SoundCloud. And yet, he claims that they tracked the IP address down and that I had something to do with it, you know. So that's that, that's what I want to say about this overall. Again, you know, I have more bad blood with Dispensary 7 for involving my mom. That makes, that makes me really hate that guy. With Dennis, it's more of, you know, misconceptions, mostly on my fault. So Dennis is someone I could probably be cool with, but Dispensary 7... Not so much, because he involved family. And that's uh, another thing I want to bring up. There was someone else I had an issue with by the name of Portugal. Mm -hmm. I will never squash beef with that guy, because when Portugal was beefing with me, he took it too far as well, and he mentioned my mom. So I'll never be cool with that guy, you know? But that's all i got to say about it. That's how my beef started with Dennis, and that's how it transpired. And then I also talked to you about my issue with Dispensary 7, how that started. It all kind of connects in a way, and I wanted to just put it all out there and just finally say it because I'm tired of thinking about this conflict and it, it, it's not out there and I'm finally putting it out there you know to be talked about so hopefully Dennis and Dispensary 7 see this video and hopefully something to get resolved from this again I'd be up for getting on a call and sorting out all differences between Dispensary 7 and Dennis you know and I'll have it be a civil thing even if I fucking hate Dispensary 7 you know I 
I, I, I will never be cool with Spencer because of what he did. But with Dennis, I think it could be worked out. So that's all I have to say in this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And that's really all I wanted to talk about. Hopefully, I got my point across and people get where I'm coming from. That's it. So, real quick jump cut. I wanted to let everybody know with this video, um, there, there will be screenshots at the end of this video to basically add on to what I've talked about. And basically, they're going to back up my claims and my story in a way. Um, so you're, you're going to see a screenshot of Spencer, you know, contacting my mom. You're going to see a screenshot of Dennis being, or uh, not Dennis, Dispensary 7 being rude to a specific fan to back up my story and my sort of perspective on me feeling like he has a rude personality. And then you're going to have a screenshot of Spencer kind of throwing shade at Dennis a few years ago, at least I think it's shade, which is kind of weird because they're cool with each other. Um, and uh, I just, I hope Dennis and Spencer could see this video, um, especially Dennis, because Dennis, I know you're cool with Spencer, but you've got to at least see my perspective and be able to tell that Spencer is out of line here. And even though you're cool with him, you've got to be able to tell he's out of line here because he's out of line. Objectively, he's out of line. He is. So, yeah, hopefully this video point gets across and the screenshots that play at the end of this video will back up my claims. And, uh, and another thing to address is the screenshot that I'll show that Spencer's contacting my mom. Everything that Spencer is saying in this post is bullshit. I didn't do, I, I, I didn't harass Dennis and Spencer like that. I didn't fuck with their shit. I didn't report stuff. I didn't fuck with Spencer's SoundCloud. Everything he's trying to say I'm doing with cyberbullying, it's all bullshit. And it's accusations. And it's just a way to, it's, way, it's, it's a way to make me look bad. And it's a way to make me look like shit. You know, it, it's all lies. I didn't do any of this fucking shit. It's all lies, you know. And that's that's really what I gotta say about it, cause it's it's Dispensary Seven's fault, not mine. That's all I gotta say about it. Like I said, I didn't do anything Spencer said in this post, and I never messed with the SoundCloud. That is the honest truth. Notice how I look at the camera when I said that. Peace.